The halls are decked for Christmas at several of the Newport mansions. More than 100,000 people are expected to visit through the end of the year. NBC 10's Michelle San Miguel gives us a sneak peek. It's the grandest of the Newport mansions. The Breakers was initially designed in the late 1800s to be a summer getaway for the Vanderbilt family. But these days, the Gilded Age architecture has become a Christmas time favorite for many. As you step into the Breakers, visitors are greeted by 200 red poinsettias adorning a Christmas tree. It is. It's breathtaking. That's the only thing I could think of. Wander through the mansion's dining room, you'll get a sneak peek at Santa coming down the chimney. Nearly 30 Christmas trees are decorated in three of the Newport mansions. The colorful Christmas decor is an inspiration for many planning to deck out their own homes. Does your house look like this? Not yet. <laughs> it, it will. will. <laughs> Just don't tell my husband who's hiding over there going, oh, money, cha-ching. Inside of the Breakers Great Hall, it is all about attention to detail. It takes more than one month to put up all of these Christmas decorations here at the Breakers, along with the Elms and the Marble House. The foyer of the Marble House looks like a winter wonderland sparkling in silver and gold. The Preservation Society of Newport County expects 125,000 people will visit the mansions this year to see them decked out for Christmas. We came because we wanted to see the Christmas decorations to get at us in the spirit of Christmas and, and this is gorgeous. Those who want to take in the glittering lights have until January 1st to ring in the holidays at the Newport mansions. Michelle San Miguel, NBC 10 News.